My name is Weda Kamwangi, and I'm an associate professor at, uh, in the Department of uh, Diagnostic Medicine Pathobiology at K-State. And my research interests are threefold. The first area is focused on development of vaccines for protection of pigs against African swine fever virus. The second area is development of improved vaccines for protection of cattle against bovine viral diarrhea virus. And the last area is uh, focused on development of uh, antibody-based therapies for protection of humans against HIV. About 10 to 15 percent of antibodies that cows make have a unique structure. So to just illustrate this, I just want to use um, uh, this uh, pen hole here uh, to illustrate that humans and mice have an antibody structure that looks like this. It has a flat surface that now can interact with a, a pathogen surface. However, the 10 to 15 percent of the antibodies that cows make have a unique structure in the sense that they have this protruding part of the antibody that has the capability of reaching out into hidden but critical molecules on the surface of a pathogen. So the question we are asked is, having made an observation that uh, cows do make these structures and having demonstrated in 2013 in a cell paper that uh, we can induce this type of antibodies in cow against bovine viral diarrhea virus, we wanted to answer the question, can we be able now to mimic that approach and induce HIV specific antibodies. In this case here, we were able to demonstrate that within a very short time, cows can be stimulated to make these antibodies and make very potent HIV neutralizing antibodies. That finding in itself is really the most exciting development or the most exciting, exciting you know, outcome of this research in, in the sense that it demonstrates for the very first time that broadly neutralizing antibodies against HIV can be stimulated. And if you're able now to learn from that finding, that knowledge is going to inform methods and strategies for mimicking that kind of approach in humans.